Well, it's probably going to be a long winter. I'm going to discuss why. Let's get to it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're having coffee in the morning. I was staying out of the stores today. I needed a day off out of the store, so I figured we would sit here and discuss some of the things that we have been seeing lately and some things to come. Okay, today we are drinking the great value again 100 colombian it's really good coffee this one's really growing on me um i do have to say someone asked me the question if i liked folgers colombian better yes i do folgers is a little more expensive though um i haven't been getting it but the next time it goes on sale i may pick up one just to have for some of our coffee rants today's not really a coffee rant as much as it is us just hanging out chatting about some things why i think it's going to be a long winter so let's get into it here. If you need to get your coffee together, go ahead and hit pause. Let's have coffee together on this nice uh, Wednesday morning as you will be seeing this video on Wednesday morning, August 16th. So things that we've been seeing, things that we've been discussing, food shortages, price increases, stuff like that in the grocery stores. Um, whether it does or not, and I will say this right off the bat, whether prices continue to skyrocket or whether we have shortages or not, I'm not going to be any less prepared, and that's kind of the discussion I wanted to have today is why we need to pay attention to some of the sales now and as we go into fall, right? Last year, we noticed a lot of things, and the real slap in the face, and one of the things that kind of reminded me of some of this was Christmas sales. Christmas sales were terrible this year, last year. At the end of 2022, Christmas sales on food was ridiculous. Now, we saw a bunch of sales the week after Christmas. So I'm assuming it's going to be sort of like that this year. However, with rising costs and all these events happening with the rice ban, and, and I hate to keep repeating myself here, but the, the steak and meat prices that are skyrocketing now with different closings and stuff, we're expecting pork to go up in price, which some people have said that it already has. Uh, now, I've seen regular prices on pork look kind of scary. You know, when they're selling these uh, cheaper ribs for like $2.99 a pound on sale, and they've kept doing that. I've yet to see the ones at Kroger actually sell for $5.99 a pound, but eventually it's going to get there. Eventually it's going to get there. A lot of these things that we see that it was like, we thought it was going to be crazy when we saw like Swanson tuna or Swanson chicken, canned chicken and Kroger canned chicken go up over $5 a can, $5 a can. Now I'm expect, I expect that they, I think that they don't believe a lot of people are going to pay the money for that. Maybe it's traditionally not bought up in, in, in a lot of amounts at Kroger. Maybe that's why they charge so much for it. But I'll tell you what, I'm not going to sit like with my head in the sand here. We are prepping. We are getting ready for the future. We're getting ready, ready for a long winter. There's a lot of things going on. We still have the lingering uh, war going on with Ukraine and Russia. We have things going on where... You know, different different things all around the world that are playing in part to why prices continue to rise. Why we have so many different excuses that people can use for different prices in the grocery stores. Now, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We do these every day to try, try and help our entire YouTube community save money at the grocery store. Now, today I'm specifically taking a little bit of a break. I needed a breather. I just had to just wanted to relax today, sit and chat with you guys about some of these things in the future because that is where we're going, right? We always have to think in the future. Now, whether you call it prepping, whether you call it just stocking up, I call it smart buying. I call it smart buying. Buying up the sales as they come so that we save money in the future. That is what we do on this channel. That is what we focus on. We focus on different things. You know, always give us feedback of things that maybe some shortages that you're seeing in your store so that we can communicate with everyone and get it out here, hopefully fast enough to where people can start stocking up a little bit. I understand people, a lot of people don't have the money to stock up on things. People don't have a lot of money to where they can just fill up a closet full of canned goods or something like that. You know, I mean, there were a lot of people when we heard there, there were a lot of people on our channel here. We knew, I knew that prices were going to be going up at Aldi and Walmart and, and Meyer, all these different canned goods that went up. There were people literally going out and buying tons and tons of these canned goods to get them 
to just save 10 cents a can. Because if you buy in the long run, if you look at the grand scheme of things, if you're spending, you know, an extra, if you're spending $50 on canned goods, well, congratulations, you just saved about $65 or no, about $15, sorry. Yeah, that would have been crazy. Um, but yeah, for what you would have paid $65 of today, right? I mean, they all went up to basically 64 cents a can. Uh, Aldi was 58 cents a can back when we were sounding the alarm on all this. And every little bit we can do saves us money in the future. And not just that, but you know you have it in case of some of these crazy life events that just happen, right? Hurricanes. People getting in different kinds of, who knows, who knows these days, guys, we just don't know. And not knowing tells me that I need to know that I need to be ready for the future. And that's kind of just where we're going. Just a nice, nice, easy discussion of things. What are some of the things that you like to prepare on? Let me know down in the comments. These are things that we commonly discuss on the channel, but we've been getting thousands of new viewers lately. So I like to kind of reiterate on some of these things and discuss them. And thank you all to our 32,900 and growing subscribers. We are growing every day. It's because of you that we are able to save so much, save people so much money around the world because people leave comments on here from their stores, where they're at, different of their main grocery chains. And then we have people communicate with them and know where to find the best deals because in a world where it seems like every day prices continue to go up. Don't let people lie to you. Don't let people lie. I don't care, <coughs> excuse me, inflation and stuff like that if it starts coming down. Somebody brought up an interesting point in the comments. They said that inflation has come down a little bit. And they also said, but it's still inflation. It's still going up. So whether it's going up at warp speed, lightning speed, or, or it's, or it's uh, going up just a little bit. It's still going up. We're still seeing I, every week I go into Kroger. It's not as much. So, I mean, as where we're seeing things go, I'm not seeing the super surge of price increases that I was seeing a year ago where it seemed like it was a runaway train. It's still a runaway train. It's just constantly moving at a steady pace and not who knows what will happen the next time of, of, of any event. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen next year. We don't know what's going to happen next month. That is why we have to be prepared. And that is what I always like to talk about on the channel here. For the last few months, I have been stressing being prepared as much as I possibly can because we don't know what's going to happen. We're, we're three years past the uh, start of the pandemic here. And I, I don't want people to lose sight or forget what we went through, what we went through. I will never be in the position that I was again. Now we have always kind of stocked up on things and had things, you know, so when we, when, you know, when all this happened and we were all on lockdown and all this stuff and we couldn't go nowhere, we had plenty of food. We made sure that we were pretty well stocked up. Me and Jessica have always kind of been that way though. Like I said, we never really looked at it as prepping or stockpiling or stuff like that. We looked at it as like kind of common sense. Like when we find deals on stuff, we buy them up. Now, however, we set aside finances to be able to do that. I understand a lot of people can't, which is why we visit a lot of other different types of stores. Me and Jessica, despite how I feel about some of these stores, we still continue to shop at Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. Okay, I used to love Family Dollar, but Family Dollar is really, and I know Family Dollar and Dollar Tree are owned by the same place, which really is confusing to me because I feel like Family Dollar has really just kind of fallen off the, the horse. And Dollar Tree, you know, hopefully Dollar Tree is starting to come out with those dollar items again or lower. They were saying about lowering the prices. I haven't seen any yet. Let me know down in the comments if your Dollar Tree has lowered some of their prices, but haven't seen that yet around here. Um... You know, we're, we're seeing different deals in places that are places you traditionally don't see lots of great sales. We're seeing prices kind of skyrocket at Meijer, but they're kind of doing like Kroger, right? We're seeing meat where it's just gone through the roof. Six ninety six sixty nine a pound for 80-20 meat is ridiculous. That's higher than anywhere. Now, it's better quality than a lot of places. So you got, you're paying for better quality too, which... 
you know, and the chicken, Meyer chicken, everybody knows we love Meyer chicken. Um, but they're, they're having some good sales on lots of other things. Like this past week, we saw where they had their seven for seven deal or more where everything on that specific deal was a dollar an item. So it was nice to be able to load up on some of those things just to have, you know, just to have, just to have, you know, we may not eat it for a while, but it's there. You know, always check your best buy dates. Always make sure that you're getting the longest possible so that you get the freshest possible and stuff like that. That's what I do. I know people say you can go way beyond uh, best buy dates and everything, but I still like to get the farthest date out. Um, and, you know, we're also coming into canning season. Uh, I know a lot of our uh, viewers on the channel here love to can their own items. They can fruits, vegetables, meats, you know, start looking for a lot. I try to point out the like ball mason jars and stuff like that and some of those prices. Some of the prices at grocery stores can get really expensive. Somebody said they found a great deal on them at Meijer, uh, which is awesome. I didn't see any at our Meijer the other day. I was actually looking for them. Sometimes they're kind of out of place. Same with our Walmart. Walmart, they'll be like in random places every now and then. I didn't see any at Walmart the other day. Um, but they do sell them at Menards. I don't, Some people were saying they went up at Menards. But I know uh, a while back when I went to Menards, that was about the cheapest place around. And some other people were saying to just check online. Those are some of the best deals. That is good coffee. That really is. The Colombian of the great value, that is good Colombian coffee. If you like a good, not super strong, I would say Folgers. Colombian is a little stronger, but not much. It's actually pretty good. So, didn't really have too much to discuss today, just other than, you know, just being prepared. Follow us on the channel here as we seek out the cheapest prices on the stores. Back to where I kind of just got lost with everything is some of the cheaper price items. Yes, Family Dollar has kind of fallen fallen for me. I used to love Family Dollar. I used to shop there all the time when I was younger. You get great deals. Now I feel like they are just, they went from value to uh, this is kind of expensive to I can't afford to shop here anymore. It's just, I don't know. It's just, Some things are still cheaper there, but food and stuff like that, absolutely not. It's crazy going into a store that's owned by the same person and then them charging, like tacking on like an extra 50 cents or a dollar on to what they're charging at Dollar Tree. Like that makes no sense to me at all. I mean, I'm sure they have their reasons of why they have to, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think they just do that because they can. Uh, Dollar General's kind of fallen, fallen off the, fallen off the wagon for me. I'm, I don't know. Dollar General seems like their prices have really skyrocketed too. They're making it a lot easier for people to just go to the grocery stores. As I always say, I say this in like every other video, Kroger is the most expensive place to shop at where you can save the most money because they have the most expensive prices out there. But if you buy just the sales, you will save money from anything. I, will, I can save more money at Kroger if I just went in and bought the sales, might not be able to get everything I want that week, but I can just put it off until the next week or until those things go on sale. What I've liked about Kroger, other than this last couple weeks, we've had a lot of digital coupons. And I'll tell you what, digital coupons can be a headache. But it's really the only way to save money, uh, a lot of money at Kroger. Especially when they're not having like their special deals. Like the buy five or more or buy three or more. Those are some great deals where you can get a lot of products uh, for cheap. And there's no limits on them. The problem with digital coupons is that if you have a great deal you know, like an 89 cent box of rice a well, you can only get five of them because there's a limit on that. And then you're paying the the dollar forty nine or whatever they are right now, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, but for the most part, we saw some good sales this week. We're going to continue to bring you the sales and deals as much as we can. Uh, we need to pay attention to this, guys. We need to pay attention. I, The reason why I've been stressing a lot of these things lately on the channel is because I do see a long winter coming. I think we're going to have... Uh, when I say shortages, I don't mean out of food. Okay? Some people get that misunderstood, I think. And, and we can always get creative. So if we have to quit eating steak because it gets up to $20 a pound, then so be it. If it gets up to $20 a pound, then we're just going to go to Longhorn because it's about the same price. Isn't that crazy? You can almost get a steak at Longhorn for the price that you're paying at Kroger. 
And like I said before in the other video the other day, we've been going to the meat market. We, we go to our local markets. We're supporting the local people, which is what everybody should be doing, especially because you're not really saving much money. Uh, and thank you to everyone who left comments in our video the other day of some of your different community markets and stuff and how much you're saving. Uh, some you would, some uh, little farmer's markets and stuff that we've been getting comments on are cheaper than Kroger. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, for the most part, we just need to pay attention to a lot of these things going on because I prices on things have already gotten ridiculously more expensive from what they were last November and December. We don't see them coming down. We don't see them coming. They're not coming down. I can tell you from doing this every day for the last over a couple of years, few years, that they're not coming down. Don't let them tell you they are. Whether inflation comes down or not, grocery prices are not. This has nothing to do with inflation. Inflation numbers are not accounted for when it comes to groceries. Um, a, a lot of people have been talking about that in the comments lately, and yes, you're right. Inflation, when the inflation numbers are taken, they do not account grocery prices and food prices, which I think is ridiculous. Somebody had factored in some numbers and said that inflation would be at 12% if we were counting in the groceries. I argue that it would be a little higher than that. Um, I, I see things that are going on that, and, and I'm sure some people, you know, some people look at things and they're just like, okay, it was one thing when it went up a dollar. Now it's gone up four dollars. I'm done. I'm not getting those Nutri-Grain bars or Cheez-Its or the stuff that, you know, or, or steak or, you know, we're not going to pay these kind of prices, right? I mean, if it's something you love and it's something you're doing every now and then, or, so, you know, even for me, if it's something I love, something that, you know, every now and then, okay, I guess you got me. I, I really want this. But at the same time, it's not something that I'm going to be stocking up on and overspending. I don't overspend on anything, ever. Ever. I know a lot of, you know, people ask, you know, what kind of things we buy and stuff. We don't like really talking about things we buy anymore because of all the negative comments we get. <laughs> you know, some, some people are just negative about stuff, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I welcome all, um, all comments. Anything you guys ever have to say. We appreciate your feedback. We appreciate your feedback. And um, again, thank you to all of our new viewers. Thank you for everybody who has been joining the Dano community here. Um, it's it's a great thing, guys. It is awesome. We are we have been helping each other out on this channel for the last couple years. And, and we have saved just off the top of my head, not doing any numbers or anything, just knowing different things that people have said over the last couple. We have saved thousands and thousands of dollars by shopping smart making sure that we're not buying something that shouldn't be bought in a in a certain store because they're charging an arm and a leg you know and, and like i said no or no judgment here on anything you buy whatever you want to buy don't let anybody tell you any different like i said no no judging here i don't you want to go out and buy yourself a hundred dollar Hershey bar, you go out and do it. You know what? You work hard, you do the things that you want in life, and that's what you do. You know, if that's what you like, go out and do it. Not something I would do, but that doesn't mean that ain't something that you can do. And another thing that I would like to discuss is when I go over different food items that you don't agree with, or oh, that's not healthy, or this is something that, oh, this is got this is bad for you, this is I mean, that's okay. You know, if you go over, you know, some people really break it down and say, well, this has these ingredients and these ingredients. And, and I appreciate that. And for somebody who has health problems or something, you may want to look into something like that. You may want to read the ingredients. I'm allergic to coconut. So I have to make sure that everything I eat doesn't have coconut in it. And you wouldn't be, you would be surprised of how much, how many foods actually have some kind of coconut in it. So I, I have to be careful myself. So I understand that. As far as a lot of the negative comments, though, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to point out what people you are asking me for. If people are asking about microwave meals, then I'm going to point out microwave meals. I kind of just wing this stuff. I don't go into a store scripted. I don't have a script. I just, when things build up a little bit and I see some great deals, we have a lot of people on the channel that don't cook. And that's okay. That's completely okay. 
It, are, will you save money if you cook from scratch? Well, does it taste better? Well, in my opinion, it does. But that doesn't mean that you have to. I My whole early 20s, I, I had nothing but microwave meals. I had a freezer full of them. I didn't cook. I wasn't with anybody. I'd throw it in the microwave, and it was done in two minutes, and I was happy. I was happy. You know, and, and if that's what makes you happy, that's awesome. It's all about what makes you happy. And, and you know, and I know people on the channel here talk about microwave meals and stuff and how they're bad for you. Lots of preservatives, lots of different things. Some people, it it's like, you know, you can only do what you can do. If you like these things, well, it's your life. It's your life. And, and I know some people get on here and they, I, some people will argue about different things and stuff. And I, that's life. And, you know, healthy arguing is one thing. When you get on here and you're just arguing and yelling at each other, well, I might step in and say, cool off or something, you know, like, just relax. People want to eat their microwave meals, let them eat their microwave meals. When I see a lot of good deals on them, I point them out because we have probably over a thousand people that love good deals on microwave meals. Microwave pizzas, we have a lot of people that love the waffles, all the different things that I like to check in the frozen aisles when we find a deal on them. So, you know, that's just something that I wanted to throw out there. It's been the, I, I understand the more and more viewers we get, there's going to be a lot of difference of opinion, and that's okay. That's life. That's life, right? Ugh, I was going to say that's democracy, but we're not getting into the politics of everything. <laughs> but really it is. These are healthy arguments. Healthy arguments. We have one person that believes something. We have another that believes another. We talk about things. And then at the end, we become friends. It's like, hey, I don't like microwave meals. Hey, I only like making my own stuff. That's okay. Doesn't mean we can't all be friends and talk about things that we love and appreciate. Wow, that's something I really wasn't uh, aiming to kind of go at today, but I'm kind of glad I did because it's been something that's not bothering me, but, you know, it's uh, <laughs> when I go to a candy aisle or something, people are like, why do you look at that garbage? What are you doing? Why? What's with that candy bar? That's bad for you. Yeah, but, you know, if, if, if somebody asked about it, if, you know, if I have two or three people that are saying, hey, what's up with the price of Reese Cups? And I do love my Reese cups. <laughs> uh, you know, then I'm going to look at it. That's what we do on the channel. If you are looking, I've even pointed out a lot of the different plant-based options. People argue about that. Why are you getting that fake food? Why are you doing that? Like, some people have to eat this stuff. Some people like this stuff. Okay? I mean, it's like, I like I said, who am I to judge? I am the... The translator. I am the one showing, hey, look at this. Morning Star products are on sale this week. I'd start naming names, but I don't want to point people out. I know a lot of people on the channel who like the Morning Star products. That's why I point them out. Because people on the channel want to see the deals. We've been doing this for years, and I understand that a lot of new people may not understand how we are doing the channel here or how we've done it for years. But basically, we go over common things that a lot of people ask about that want to always know the prices. That's why you see a lot of repetition in some of the things that I do, like the tuna packets, the, the, the tuna, uh, Starkiss tuna creations. I don't buy them. I don't buy, I, I, you know, I'll eat tuna, but I get like little cans of tuna or, uh, those little packs at, uh, Dollar Tree every now and then, but I, I don't really care too much for the tuna. Jessica likes them, you know? Um, but when I see a sale on them for a dollar, I don't want you to have to pay $1.69 a pack for them at Kroger. So, of course, I'm going to point them out when they're on sale. And there's hundreds and hundreds of people on the channel here who ask about it. So, and I know somebody left a comment, why are you always showing Tuna Creations? Well, that's why. Because we have hundreds, maybe over a thousand people that love them. So, I point those things out. I'm pointing out the things that you guys are always asking me about. And, and that's what we have built the channel on. And I will continue to do that. I know we've gotten mixed reviews with us doing our little coffee rants here and me going to the stores. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. It's hard to go to the store every day. I've been going to the stores every day. And it's sometimes you kind of run out of ideas as a creator here. I mean, it is kind of tough. I mean, I know I kind of do the same thing every day. But it's been nice doing these little news breaks to kind of talk about things going on in the world. Talk to them with you guys and get your opinions on it. Because it's things that I'm interested in. It's things that we need to pay attention to. I mean, that's that's why I do them. I understand a couple of our longtime viewers really don't 
care for the sitting here and just chatting, but it gives me a little bit of a break from having to, to, to come up with something. I mean, I do this every day. So if, if I, you know, sometimes like today, I, I just could not get myself to, to go to the store and do something, you know, I, I, I was at a loss of what I was going to do. Like, do I do Dollar Tree today? Do I do Dollar General? I really want to go to Dollar Tree to see if the price has come. It's been about a week since I checked. They hadn't yet. Um, but, you know, a lot of the different things, I not that, like I said, I don't go in with a script, but sometimes it's just like, I need a breather. And I like doing the daily vlog thing, too, to where we have something every day here for you. But, you know, we're, we're discussing things that I can still do on here and still be able to take a break from the store and get a little bit of a breather. And I'm not saying I'm, like, burned out or anything, but it's been nice to just add something to the channel here that has been relevant and stuff that we're able to talk about and still discuss these these matters and stuff. Because believe it or not, there will be probably 30, 50, maybe 100 comments of people still discussing stuff from their different stores, even in this video. So it's still helpful. So anyway, that is, I guess it turned into a rant, guys. <laughs> it was supposed to be nice and smooth. I apologize. It, it was, uh... but you know, let's be friendly in the comments. And if not, I understand people are different. And that's okay. Guys, that's it for today. Uh, be prepared. Stock up. Save where you can. I am expecting a long winter. I think it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be really tough. I think we're going to have prices. Even if the price has stayed where they are, it's going to be really tough. Because this, and I will finish with this. The one thing that I have noticed. Excuse me. <laughs> the one thing that I have noticed in all of the stores lately is the sales that we're seeing are sales that are higher than what they've ever been before. We're not seeing the lower part of the sales, which we were seeing at the initial hike of the price increase. We're not seeing, you know, we, we have seen some, but the more and more we go along here, we're seeing less and less of the great deals and just, uh, okay, $9.99 for sirloin that we saw at Meyer the other day per pound, which is now $12.99 per pound regular price. Well, it would be $5.99 or $6.99 a couple months ago when it was on sale, right? We saw porterhouses and T-bones at Meyer for, for $7.99 a pound on sale a couple months ago. Now we're seeing it for like $11.99 a pound while it's at $13.99, $14.99 a pound. So what, what I'm saying is that even the sales prices of things are getting more expensive. We're not, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping once we get into fall and we'll have some holiday sales, which you, you guys know we'll be going over all the different holiday deals and everything. But I just have a feeling that it's going to get a little rough and that we just have to prepare. Uh, everyone who's been on the channel here for a long time knows that we know how to prepare and we do know how to save money. We're going to do everything we can to help you save money. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out there.